I was... Before we go any further, gentlemen, I've had a request from the public relations people. They'd like us to give this project a name. Isn't that a little premature, sir? No, no, they want to start briefing the news agencies on uh, what we're planning. Oh, uh, <clears throat> any suggestions? <laughs> well, I have one. Since this is to be the most far-ranging of our probes, how about calling it Operation Pluto? No, I think that's very appropriate, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Major. <clears throat> I've, uh, <laughs> I've always had a flair for names. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Ron. It's okay, Dad? No? Dad, Daddy, Da, Da. Frankly, I'm partial to Da, Da. <laughs> what are you talking about, Ron? Have you decided on a name yet? Mm, yeah, we're going to call it Pluto. Pluto Nelson, yeah. Well, it's different. Oh, uh, here you are, sir. I wish you would... Uh, hey, would you hand those out? I've probably made them all. Thank you. Files. Uh, Colonel. Would you mind explaining yourself, Roger? You want to make the announcement now? What announcement? What are you talking about? You know, you and Baby and Jeannie. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Uh, sir, would you excuse me? Just a, just a moment, please. I have a kind of a personal matter. Dr. Bellows, when did Major Nelson have his last checkup? Two weeks ago, sir. And I'm beginning to believe he's due for another one. <laughs> sir, may I have permission to be excused, please? Permission denied. I want to talk to you. Sir, Major. all the information is in the father's files. Files. <laughs> Would you kindly tell me what you just told Major Nelson? Sorry, sir. Oh, nothing, sir. Actually, I think he would rather tell you himself. Dr. Bellows, are you sure Major Nelson's in condition to handle Pluto? About that name, sir, don't you think a more appropriate name would be James or Tom or, or maybe even Seymour? <laughs> Major Healy, the United States is not sending out a space probe called Operation Seymour. <laughs> How about Irving? <laughs> Jeannie, darling, darling. There is Anthony. Now you two stay here uh, until I explain everything, all right? Stay. Jeannie. Hello, Matthew. Hello, darling. How are you feeling? Are you well? Are you oh, all right? I'm feeling just fine. Yeah. But there is something I wish to talk to you about. I know, I know. That's why I brought you these. Oh, they are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, darling. Oh, you're so beautiful. I, I guess it's true what they say about women. They're so beautiful. Did you when... say you knew? Yes. Roger told me. Oh, and you were not angry? Angry? Oh, I'm the happiest man in the world. Oh, well, I am so relieved. <laughs> do you want me to get you something? Get you something to eat or drink or anything? What do you want, huh? Just well, tell me. Well, well I, I was going to blink up some dog biscuits. <laughs> dog biscuits? <laughs> I, I thought you'd want some uh, pickles or ice cream or something. <laughs> ice cream and pickles? <laughs> Master, mm. there's something I must tell you. Oh, and I can't wait to hear it from your sweet little lips. <laughs> tell me, go ahead. A baby? A dog? <laughs> A baby? Oh, Mrs. Jinjin is going to have puppy. <laughs> yeah, not in my house she's not going to have puppy. Master! Uh, darling, I have enough trouble with one lunatic mongrel around shredding all my uniforms. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? even beginning to be all right. I, I, I can't have two magical mutts in, in this house. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, she is magical, isn't she? <laughs> Forget I asked. Master, I cannot believe that you would send an expected mother out into the cold, cruel snow. It is not snowing. It will be if you send her out. Now, Jeannie, now look, I, I'm not a heartless monster. I like animals. I like them a lot. But I can't afford to Has have to two of these things around. Warm, cuddly, darling little puppies. Magic. Squiggly, wiggly little puppies. Magic puppies. Oh, puppies. Oh, and I think of eight or ten magic puppies. I can't believe it. Puppies. <laughs> 